Okay, you thought 2012, uh, Travin, my youngest boy, got his first buck tonight. The other boy, he was hunting with John over on the other property where we got plots over there. I'm not sure what kind of deer he got, but he got one too. So both sons got their deer tonight. So that's awesome. But anyway, this is Stan and Corn that me and Trev planted together here in sorghum. See that big tall sorghum in here? Basically we plant these, we got I think five or six of these these corn plots planted on his property. That way the deer got some cover come later season. When they cut this big cornfield down behind us, the only corn around is going to be our place. And on the other side of this this corn here, we got a, about a 20 yard wide sugar beet field. It's about 200 feet long. But Trevin, he was sitting over there in the turkey blind, we call it. And I was sitting just right on the other side. There's standing narrow strip of standing corn. I was over there in the woods. Anyway, enough said. Let's hear about this book. <laughs> huh? What do you say, son? Kind of really speechless. <laughs> so happy. I can't think of words to really say. We got uh there's a trail camera was hanging in that little uh, tree over there. We got pictures of him, the buck walking up, and him coming out here, jumping up and down, and falling to his knees, and arms up in the air. And... Then last year you shot your eight point. Yeah, I shot an eight point around the other side there. Yeah. Then finally that... this year, I got to shoot a buck. So what was the feeling like when you seen the buck? Did you get any of your heart pumping any? No, my heart like dropped. Like dropped? I was so surprised. I saw a deer standing out here. I looked at his head. It had a nice rack on it. Then someone shot across the road. Then I, then he looked, so I hurried up and grabbed my gun. You had the gun leaning up in the blind there? Yeah. Yeah, he was texting me. The funny thing is he, he had just texted me like, 15 minutes before. So, I don't know, we got to look at the time. And he says, when am I going to see a deer? Because Trap Mitchell had one down. We knew that. He got one earlier tonight. He, he was over there with, with John. I told him, well, in about 15 minutes, a five-pointer will be coming along here. And, Did you believe me? Yeah, so I hurried up and grabbed <laughs> my gun. <laughs> then you started texting me. <laughs> so I leaned my gun over. Huh. You thought, oh, we better get ready. I, I'm always doing stuff like that with the boys. I'm like, well, get ready, we're going to get bit on that rod. Or It's pretty funny, I mean, anyway. Yeah. I don't get how you do it. <laughs> you know, a nice two-and-a-half-year-old corn-fed buck. I'm proud as can be. Oh, my gosh, nice. And the thing is, it's not like some farm you go out hunt on. It's like property that you plant. Yeah, we planted a food and plot in there. And deer come and go all the time. And he just happened to come right by. Yeah, this is only 14 acres we lease here. and We got it planted so nice that... I tell you, we got, this is probably the most deer infested piece of property in the area just because it's, we got it planted just perfect for them. Main thing is the cover and stuff, but yeah, I, I got to figure out how to get them, uh, them pictures off that, that deer cam there so we can have those too because those are priceless. Like a slideshow? Yeah, I know, it's like a slideshow. It's so funny. Hit it right in the shoulder. He, he, he's just got a smoothbore gun. He don't have a, a sighted end gun, say, with a scope or nothing. It was like a 40-yard shot. Yeah, I'm sure it dropped right there, hitting it with that 90 caliber slug. <laughs> and he put another shot in it just to finish it off in the heart there. I'm just kind of surprised you shot it in the heart as much as you like to. Here, get up and hold it in there. We'll see how big it is. It's probably a... 160 pound deer, you know, the way it's laying right now, and then gut it out, it's probably 120, 130 pound deer, probably. That'd be my guess. But, man, it should be just delicious. Still kind of got its summer colors on it. A little bit, it's changing. But, here, get on that end of it. We're going to have to get some more pictures. Oh, yeah. Where have we seen that before? Awesome. Can we leave anything out? Uh, you all done deer on this year or you want to go out again? I, I'm definitely going out again. I still your brother's going to be so jealous. You filled your restricted tag too because you're still allowed to shoot any buck you want now. Yeah, it's got an old injury on its foot. Looks like it 
Let's say someone's shot. Yeah, it probably got shot or something, or hit by a car or something. It's, it's all healed up. That's why it's racks different on one side, so. If you notice, anytime a deer gets hurt, like in its foot, the opposite side of the deer, its horns will be a little deformed. You can see, see how they're deformed off a little that bit? One? No, the, it's the opposite side. Any, oh. Anytime a deer gets hurt in oh, the leg, it's, it affects the opposite yeah. side of the rack. But if you look that one, yeah, it's a little bit different. A lot of times, though, it won't even hardly have a rack on that side. But you can see it's it's not shaped like the other one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a shed you found. But it, when it was young, it could be one of the sheds. Got a nice big head on him. Oh man, your brother is gonna be I know. something else. <laughs> he was talking about how he's gonna come out here and shoot a buck. Yeah. And I'm only I was only looking for a doe, if that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd have, that'd have made me happy to open the morning a bow season, I tell you what. I'd be happy. It's that's a good buck for around here. You know, anytime you get a eight pointer or something, you know, we do get a few bigger ones, but out here in the farm country, you know, we just don't get them big ones. But anyway, cool.